Today we have a Mercedes C450 AMG. Um, this is the first time that we're actually testing the C-Class, so we'll have a look around here, we'll have a look at the rear space and also the boot. But let me start by telling you, so this is, uh, you're wondering, C450, is that 4.5? No, it's a 3-litre V6 twin turbo, produces 367 horsepower, and uh, it will get from 0 to 100 in uh, 4.7 seconds. This thing uh, costs $69,100, about 250,000 dirhams. Now, that makes it considerably cheaper than the next one up from this, which of course is the C63 AMG. Now, you're wondering, is this just a kit? Is it just the AMG kit or body kit on this car? Uh, well, from what I've read, this car will become part of the AMG lineup and actually instead of being called the C450 it'll become something like the C43 AMG um, but there's still some curious things which I'll get to inside but um, interesting car let's have a look so a quick look at the boot which I can open from the key fob by just pressing that button there there you go yeah pretty deep quite wide quite spacious two little uh, on each side, that one's got a couple of uh, yellow jackets in there, high visibility jackets, which is always a good idea. It's interesting, I don't know why other manufacturers don't do that. They've got a first aid kit there, two hooks on each side for your shopping, which is always very handy, and a very deep underfloor compartment as well. I don't know if you can make that out. A very deep in here, one of those basket things that the Mercedes like to put in, and more deep spaces under there, and uh, your tool kit, and they've even thrown in a little rag. How thoughtful is that? So, all in all, Quite practical. So, right, I'm of course six foot two or thereabouts, and uh, the front seat, this driver's seat, is set for my height as well. So it is perhaps a little bit tight for somebody of uh, my um, uh, tall aspect, but. Um, it's tolerable. I mean, they've scooped out the rears of these seats to give me just enough knee room. My ch chin here, shin here actually, shin I should say, not chin, chin's up here, shin's down there. The shin here is rubbing up against the, uh, the elasticated uh, pocket here, and, uh, but under the chair there is enough room for my feet, so that's not a problem. Headroom again is a little bit tight, but then it's got this double bubble full panoramic uh, sunroof here. Um, so perhaps that's taking up a little bit of room. So the sloping roof also perhaps robbing me of a little bit of room. But uh, quite airy though, even though it uh, may not be as spacious as some cars, but it feels very spacious because of its uh, open uh, cockpit, open uh, cabin that gives a sense of spaciousness. What do we have here? We have Isofix anchors, of course, as you expected. Interestingly, no central armrest on this car. Um, which is a little bit unusual in this sort of car, isn't it? But uh, yes, you don't get that. Um, you get two vents back here and you get a 12 volt power supply, a little ashtray, um, but no USBs per Meister speakers. These are so sweet, I like these. And uh, door pockets with the kind of cup holder, sort of a bottle holder, I should say, arrangement there as well. So uh, yeah, I think that's quite enough time back here. I think it's uh, time we got in the front. Let me out of the outside. It's a bit windy today. Okay, so let's start this up. It has a starter button, which uh, I think you can remove and use a key as we established in the previous video. Oh, the music comes straight on. My phone is Bluetooth and connected to this excellent, excellent Burmeister system, which I absolutely adore. Even better in the S-Class, but not so bad in this one either. Now, there you go, what I was talking about earlier, AMG aspects. They've got checkered flags on the dial, so there's a very sort of sporty look for the dial there. And down here you've got this button, dynamic, here. And you've got the settings, traction off, suspension, and manual settings, and dynamic. And the dynamic mode, you can actually, if you press the car thing there, and that screen then turns to car, and then you can go, you can use the uh, controller here, or even this, so even just by doing that, that actually moves. So dynamic select, Oh, bit fiddly. Dynamic select, and uh, you can actually individually configure how you want your car to be set up. So you got uh, sports for the throttle and the uh, transmission, the engine response uh, for the suspension uh, and the steering. Um, if you or you can just use the standard modes by flicking that forward, and you have an option of sport, 
Sport Plus, the individual mode as discussed, and down here Comfort and Eco. Eco, pff, stay away from that. Uh, we'll start off in Comfort. This is quite nice, a very deep box here with two bins and a little sort of, you know, platform and a little ashtray type scenario as well. Nice little clock arrangement there. I love these little toggle buttons they have for the climate control and this is just so beautifully finished and done. This is a nice bit of trim there red leather seats on this not sure why because it's sporty i suppose going back to the amg thing whilst the steering is very much amg look at the flat bottomed and the alcantara type trim here the suede type trim here and of course you get the paddle shifts but uh, you don't get the amg controller which is the little square thing down here instead you get the typical mercedes one which is the uh, column shift up here so there you go. I think that's pretty much, I mean, you know, uh, the C-Class is a new car um, and we haven't driven one before, but otherwise it's pretty standard in here. All the Mercedes are now getting this floating panel uh, uh, tablet, if you like, and, um, you know, that's, that's, that's how it's coming. So, yeah, phone can fit, iPhone 6 can fit, 6 Plus can fit there, and uh, seatbelt on. Time. Let's put that on so that actually you get slightly better sound quality. I should hope so, at least anyway. Um, not that you want to hear me babbling on because perhaps you want to hear the engine because you're thinking AMG, AMG man, they make some cool V8 engines and they sound awesome, don't they? Let's see, let's go into sport just for this bit and... It's okay, it's okay. Um, not quite the roarty, grunty, mental aspect that you get in, uh, in a, in a full-on, I would say, hardcore AMG, but it's quick enough. I mean, that's zero to 100 in less than five seconds. Less than five seconds, you know. That, that used to be supercar territory not so long ago. Um, but the C63 does it nearly a whole second quicker. So um, uh, the acceleration in that, you can imagine, is probably more brutal. The other thing to note is this is all-wheel drive. Yes, front and rear. So maybe slightly heavier, but also more grippier. So no, if you may have noticed, if you are expecting wheel spin or even the chirp from the tires, there was none of that because the car just hooked up and off it went immediately. Um, so this is a, a grippy proposition, uh, a well-sorted proposition, uh, a very well-riding proposition as we are experiencing right now on this uh, beautiful road through the desert here. Um, we're going over some uh, tiny bits of sand patches because as I said earlier it's a windy day today and we, often you have the sand coming across the tarmac and creating these little puddles if you like, puddles of sand. Um, but we are not feeling them at all, we're driving over them but we're not feeling them. So how does it handle? Well, the brakes are okay. They could do with a little bit more bite, a little bit more sportier bite. Turning is pretty good. Steering weighting is nice. You know, a little bit of understeer, as you'd expect, but you can power through the corner, no problem at all. That was done in comfort. Let's just go full on into Sport Plus for this one. And, uh, oh, you just got a little bit of a crackle from the exhaust there. That was quite nice. And uh, yeah, a little bit more attitude with the sports uh, mode. A truck just parked in the middle of the road there for some reason, not quite sure why. Uh, best to be prudent. Uh, I think they're watering the plants. That's always good, isn't it? And uh, moving back into lane. Uh, and parking, good. So we can pass that. So, um, yeah, so there is a sporty element to this car. It is pretty quick. The handling is there. The performance is there. Grip is almost certainly there. Um, and, you know, it's it's a very very quick car if you think about it um, I've got heads-up display here there's lots of sporty little things like you said the exhaust note crackles a little bit to give you that sense of oh my god I mean you know what am I in nice bit of kick down and acceleration to the automatic gearbox there they do have paddles if you want to use them but why would you bother um, I, 
you are probably sensing a little bit of hesitation in my voice because what you're probably uh, were expecting me to say and what I probably should say and what would probably be the correct thing to say is that this is actually a very good compromise. If you uh, don't want to go for the full fat hardcore C63 um, but you want something a little bit special compared to the regular C-classes then this is the one to go for surely. Um, surely that should be the verdict. Well I guess I guess that's all correct, I guess that's all true, but you know, a little bit of understeer is just, you know, it's not quite tucking in, you're just feeling it washing wide and I'm having to correct and just pull it in round this roundabout. As I build up the speed it just seems to want to go a little bit wider, so, um, but it's game, it's game and it's grippy, yes, oh yes it's grippy. So that's what you want me to say, but here's what I'm going to say. I think it's uh, it's left uh, dangling between uh, a rock and a hard place. It's not quite the AMG it wants to be, it purports to be. Now here's what I remember about the old C63. To note, I have not driven the new generation C63 yet, but I have driven the older one and the previous generations of uh, AMG versions in that segment in, in the Mercedes lineup. And I've always found them to have this rather bonkers split personality so they can be comfortable and sedate in fact I'm going to put that back into uh, comfort mode now uh, they can be comfortable and sedate like uh, like now just traveling along just cruise around and then you hit a sport mode in the C63 and it just turns into a nutter mental hooligan uh, wheel spinny smoky tire uh, crazy magnificent <laughs> mental machine um, this doesn't do that. This doesn't do that. This stays between sensible and sporty. It's just that's its sort of that's its range. Um, so here's my thing. You're still spending a fair chunk of money, um, and I'm wondering if whether, you know, performance-wise, I should imagine the regular C classes. And again, with the proviso that I've not driven them, but I should imagine just from my experience with Mercedes and their regular engines, they won't be slouches either. They'll be pretty quick cars. So. Um, Honestly, I think this one's left a little bit dangling in the middle um, and I'm not sure about this one. I think if you really want to go for something sporty, save up, save up a lot because <laughs> there is a big price gap and go for the C63. Otherwise, go for the regular C-Class, take the number badge off it so nobody knows what it is and fit it with the AMG body kit. Bob's your uncle, sorted, you got the style, you got the dash, and you got the nice C-Class. Overall, C-Class, I'm liking it. Very good car. I'm just not sure about this particular model. As ever, more on MotoringME.com, and please do check us out. Please do check us out on uh, all the social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We do a lot of stuff on Facebook, uh, so don't miss out there. And uh, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, where we have tons of review videos and some other crazy fun stuff, then do please subscribe and tell your friends about that channel. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Until the next one. Sound test, framing test, Mercedes C450 AMG and a bit of dialogue, perhaps from a movie, perhaps TV, perhaps it was from a song. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Where was that from?